In this video, we'll take a look at some of the new features of Bible Analyzer 4.5. The most notable new feature is the new Session Manager. And if you go to where the Library Manager was in Preferences, and we'll click that, that tab has been replaced with a Session Manager tab. And to open the Session Manager, you can simply click that button. There's another way you can get there, also by right-clicking -click on a tab, such as the Bible tab or a Commentary Dictionary tab, and get to the Session Manager and it's also in the control menu. You can go to the session manager. But what the session manager is, it's a place where the user can configure certain arrangements of the resources and modules into sessions which they can load instantly at any given time. As you'll see here there's an arrangement of tabs on the left and these tabs can be renamed by simply typing a name in here in these boxes and then clicking update tabs button and the first tab will always load all of the available modules. That is all the modules which Bible Analyzer can find in the folders. It will uh, display them all. But if you go to the other tabs, such as this one's called Word Study, you'll see at the top that uh, there are tabs again for the Bibles, dictionaries, commentaries, and the books, and you select the resources which you would like to be associated with that session and then you can go and click the dictionaries you want and the commentaries you want and so forth and this will allow your uh, resources within Bible Analyzer to be limited just to those and it won't be so cluttered and so many uh, different modules to wade through whenever you're just wanting to do some particular study for instance let's go down here to the minimal tab and that will load only one Bible the King James Bible is not listed here because it must load with Bible Analyzer, but we'll have one dictionary, we have one commentary, and we have one book. And so we'll click the Load Save button. We'll click that. And as you can see, and just took it about a second, that Bible Analyzer reconfigured itself to where we just have the one Bible, the one commentary, and the one dictionary, and here we have the one book. And we can just open the session manager again and if we want to load any of these others we just click that tab and click the load save button and we'll go back to load them all again we'll just click that and you'll see here all of the the Bibles came back and more more uh, commentaries than will actually display on the screen they came back as well but this makes it uh, much easier to uh, wade through all of the various modules since they're getting to be so many now for Bible Analyzer also on older systems it allows you to just make a select list of what you need and that way Bible Analyzer will start quicker and also it lets you uh, trim your books down for instance you want to look at our books page here and you can trim them down to where you just don't have pages and pages of titles you can just load the ones you want another new feature that's in 4.5 is you'll see that there are bold titles here and these bold titles represent book groups that is they are represent volumes of books underneath each title for instance here's a new one by Stanley Derrickson and you'll see here that here are 15 of his notes books which are very valuable and very good to, to read then you click each one of those and it will take you to the chapters also another one of our new modules is the handfuls on purpose by Smith and Lee and here you have each volume of the handfuls on purpose and then of course you can click each uh, topic under the title and then go to that so it makes it more convenient to be able to realize which books are volumes and which books are standalone like the ones that aren't bold are standalone books another new group we have is by Dr. Max Younts and he has some very helpful and interesting books that are timely and deal with questions and lots of things which people ask today and uh, these, these books are free and uh, they're very valuable to have and uh, uh, you can consult them very easily. Another new module we have is the uh, J.P. Lang module. And we'll bring it up here and here you can see Lang's commentary and it's a very scholarly commentary. It has all the footnotes, all the Hebrew and Greek words and it's uh, very extensive and the comments are uh, uh, more of the scholarly type but still I'm sure many of you will find them of value but that's a new module we have available for Bible Analyzer but uh, we just hope that you'll find the new features we've provided Bible Analyzer of value and uh, we hope that they help you in your studies thank you